Circuit breaker. A circuit breaker is an electrical switch that automatically shuts off the flow of electric current when either overload or short circuit occurs. But how does it work to achieve these? Circuit breaker works by using a spring-loaded mechanism to open and close the contact. Here we have two spring mechanism. When one spring stretches, it translates the force to the other spring, which squint. One spring is attached to the handle of the circuit breaker. This movement of these springs with one spring attached to the handle leads to opening and closing the contact. Inside circuit breaker, we have moving contact, fixed contact, magnetic coil. And this magnetic coil has a small metal cylinder. With a pin, also a small spring is put inside it. Also, power terminals are connected with wires. Circuit breaker protect various components, including itself from either short circuit or overload. First, when short circuit occurs, the circuit breaker trips. During a short circuit, the current of normal operation always doubles from 10 to 100 times the normal current. This current is huge and can lead to destruction of the electrical device under function. But with a circuit breaker installed, do not worry. Circuit breaker contain magnetic coil. This coil helps when short circuit occurs. When normal current rate flow through the coil, a small amount of magnetic field is induced. This small magnetic field cannot pull the cylinder with the pin down due to the spring strength. But when the short circuit occurs, remember, current doubles 10 to 100 times the normally operating rate. This magnetizes the coil at a very high rate, usually 2 to 3 milliseconds, and large magnetic field is formed in the coil with the help of right-hand rule. The cylinder is pulled downward, pulling the contact down. What do you need to know about the designer of the coil? Hans Christian Ersted's law state that when an electric current passes in a conductor, it produces a magnetic field around the conductor. With this law, if we fold the conductor to form a coil, the magnetic field formed now in the coil will be stronger. Hence, to achieve a very strong magnetic field, we need a coil. To design a magnetic coil against short circuit, he, she must do good calculations. That magnetic field strength at the center of the coil. B is equal to U times I times N all over 2 times R times Kazu, where U is permeability of free space, I is current, R is radius of the coil, U angle is the angle between the axis of the coil and the perpendicular to the coil's plane. Other factors to consider to relate the equation with is current rating, trip time, and inductance value of the coil under normal operation and under short circuit. Also, wire gauge and wire resistance you have to consider and relation has to be proven of. But consequently, large arc is formed as the contacts open. This arc is dangerous and can cause even fire. Hence, a arc chamber is very useful in the design of circuit breaker. The arc chamber helps in extinguishing the arc. It provides a controlled environment where the arc is directed and cooled, allowing the circuit breaker to safely and efficiently interrupt the current flow. But how is this arc formed? As the contacts opens, an electrical arc forms between the moving contact and the fixes contact. This is due to ionization of air in the gap created. This arc sustains the flow of current. Arc chamber then contains arc chutes, which are designed to quickly redirect the arc into the arc chamber. This helps in controlling and containing the arc within a confined speed. While the arc chamber is designed to cool and lengthen the arc, it often contains materials that assist in deionizing and cooling the arc. The arc chamber typically incorporates materials like copper or other alloys with good thermal conductivity. These materials aids in dissipating the heat generated by the arc helping to cool and extinguish it. Arc chamber does the following. 1. Deionization. Certain materials within the arc chamber are chosen for their ability to deionize the surrounding air. Deionization helps in reducing the conductivity of the arc, making easier to extinguish. Metallic plates and grids contains materials like copper or tungsten. 
they are good thermal conductivity and can withstand the high temperature generated by the arc. Also, ceramics or composite materials may be used since they have ability to withstand high temperature and insulating capacity. In deep study, I found this topic interesting, so I went further in my research as an electrical engineering student on how actually these arc fumes forms. The electrical arc formed during the interruption of a circuit carries a plasma. This plasma is a mixture of ionized particles including positively charged ions, cations, and negatively charged ions, anions. The exact charge distribution within the arc can vary, but overall, the arc is considered electrically conductive due to the presence of these charged particles. As for the materials in the arc chamber, they are typically conductive materials like metals that is copper and tungsten. These materials do not carry a net charge when they serve to facilitate the controlled dissipation of heat and contribute to the deionization process to extinguish the arc. It is important to note that the charge associated with the arc is temporary and dynamic as the arc progresses. But the primary concern was managing conductivity, nature of the arc, to safely interrupt the current flow in the circuit, which is achieved through metal plates. They absorb and neutralize the ionized particles, reducing the conductivity of medium and arc. Reduced ionization and lower temperature help in breaking the continuity of the arc, ultimately leaving to its extinguishment. Second function of a circuit breaker is overload protection. This is achieved through the use of bimetallic strip. Bimetallic here works in a way that it bends to pull the contacts down. When overcurrent occurs, the current usually doubles up to 10 times the normal operation. This can damage some electrical equipment under function. We incorporate heating element to the circuit to measure current flow. Resistance and temperature are very crucial in design of electrical heating element. Once the rated temperature is achieved, the bimetallic strip will bend pulling the contact down. For example, when brass and steel is used and they are heated separately, they expand. But when they are fixedly attached, they bend forming a curving structure. This mechanism helps us design circuit breaker. I hope you found this video informative and if you do, kindly subscribe, like and share our channel. You can also sponsor and promote our videos. Also, I'm available for any design and graphics work as a freelancer, majorly product design, animation, and architectural visualization. If you have these work, email me. Link in the description. See you in the next one.